A lot of you have been asking for help with reading the greens. Recently posted a video on the plum bobbing method of reading greens. Today we're going to talk about using the aim point technology or the aim point method to read the greens. Does it work? And a little bit of a tutorial or short primer on how to do it. Let's go. So using aim point to read greens operates on the simple principle that you hit putts straight. I can't use this to make a curve ball or whatever. I just roll the ball up the line and gravity pulls the putt to the left or to the right, depending on the amount of slope on the green. The ball rolls downhill. Basic principle of physics. Aim point is a method of using your feet, your knees, your hips, and your legs, and your body to straddle your ball and stand between over your ball and look between your ball and the hole and get a feel for the degree of slope that's there and then use that to pick a point that far outside the hole, aim the ball at that point or that target started on that line, the ball's rolling straight at that point, gravity takes over and pulls it to the hole. That's how aim point works. What they do if you take an aim point class is they spend hours and hours teaching you how to get that feel with your legs and your feet and your hips. Does that work? And then of course, you need a measurement to know, well, if this is two degrees of slope, where, how do I aim two degrees right of the hole or left of the hole? We're gonna talk about that in a second. But first, how can I know if my feet and hips are calibrated so that I can actually feel the grade or the slope on the green. Think about it this way. If you're going uphill in a car, a five degree is a steep grade, or a five degree, you'll see those road signs, that's a steep grade. If you're riding in a roller coaster, and you go over the hump, a really steep roller coaster would be like 65 or 70 degrees. There are no like 90 degree drops virtually straight down. There's just not that much slope. A golf course green has anywhere usually from one or two, or a really steep green might have five degrees of slope. So what you can do, you can go to the hardware store and get a digital level, take that out with you on the green and put that digital level on the green and then stand there. That says, the digital level says, oh, there's one degree of slope here. And you stand there and get a feel, okay, this is what one degree feels like. Takes a long time to learn to do that, but if you get that feel, it's incredibly accurate because here's a really cool and interesting thing about the human body. Somehow or another, I don't know, it's just the nature of the way humans are made, your finger, one finger held out in front of your face represents about one degree of slope. So if you see the tour pros on TV, holding up one finger or two fingers or whatever, it's because they have they know that this putt has one to two degrees of slope. And they know that because they have the green reading book that's laser measured and leveled the whole green, and they know the exact slope amount of degrees for any putt. They line it up, put their one finger dead center on the cup, and then they add the number of fingers for the degrees of slope, and that gives them an aiming point outside of that line. They use that, and it's highly, highly accurate. In fact, you just almost never miss as long as you get the speed right. That's one of the reasons you see the PGA Tour pros make so many putts. If you're going to use aim point, you either have to have a greens reading book that gives you the slope on every putt, on every hole, or you need to learn how to take their courses and their classes, or use a digital level on the greens yourself and invest a lot of time learning how to feel the amount of slope with your feet. Now on this putt, 
I've measured it with a laser level. I know there's two degrees of slope to the right, and so I put a T exactly at the aim point using my fingers where two degrees shows up right of that hole. Now we're going to take a shot at the putt, and I want you to see exactly how well aim point works. I measured this one ahead of time with a digital level. I know that it's two degrees, so the two fingers is right. If it were three degrees or four degrees, I'd do this many fingers, centered on the hole and see does it go right or left. Let's check this one out. I want to show you how well aim point works. Also going to illustrate another fact that putting is all speed. And we're get, we'll do this putt two or three times just so that you see that. So I'm going to go at that tee, a straight line. That's my aim point, And watch the ball break towards the hole. How accurate aim point is. If I can get the feel down to where I know my aiming point, my starting line, is exactly the right percentage of slope or the right number of fingers outside the hole, the ball will go in. All I got to do is hit it on the right speed. By the way, let's take a second as we wrap this video up to show you how important speed is. I'm going to hit a putt too soft and you watch what happens. It breaks the same amount, but it doesn't get there. Started on the right line, but you still have to hit at the right speed. Now let's take one, and I'm going to hit it too firm, and you'll see it stays left of the hole and doesn't break as much because gravity has more effect on your ball or less effect on based on speed. See, I hit that one a little bit firmer and it stayed out. Another illustration of the same thing. I'm going to hit this putt slower on purpose and start it further left because it will break more if it's going slower. And it didn't go in, but you got the idea. So that's a really quick version of aim point. You learn to figure out how much slope there is by working with your feet. Then if you have two degrees of slope, it's two fingers centered on the hole and you're aiming here. Or if it's that way, you're aiming here. That's simple. You pick that point, roll the ball at that target, it goes in. It works really well. Expensive to take the classes, not for me. I do really well with plumb bobbing and my normal green reading routine. We'll put videos and clips on that. If you want more help with reading the greens, speed and distance control on your putts or general putting tips and help to help you make more putts, then like, subscribe, share, comment below. And in the meantime, here's to you making more putts.